Thank you for having us this afternoon. Um, I'm Mr. Snakem, uh, and this is the Woodbury Forest Jazz Ensemble. And that was a piece uh, called uh, Any Way You Want It by Journey. It's a pop song. Uh, you may have heard it at some point. Um, with jazz band, that piece, we all played the whole time, all the way through together. Lots of times in, in jazz uh, band, you'll have people who play by themselves. What's it called when somebody plays something by themselves? Solo. A solo, yeah. There's, so a lot of these songs have solos in them. Um, and usually when you watch a piece of music, you watch a concert, you're supposed to sit there and wait until the end to clap. In jazz band, if somebody plays a solo, and feel free to clap for them when they are finished their solo, even if it's in the middle of the music. And that's going to happen twice in this piece. This is a piece called No Harm, No Foul. And this is going to feature Grimes graduate, Robbie Hamsman, on, on Barry sax and Henry on trumpet. They'll come down front for their solos so you know that, that that's when it is. Uh, for a few minutes about what you what you see up here on the stage. Um, what kind of instrument was that that Robbie played? 
the ba uh, baritone side, somebody down here now. Um, <laughs> so in the front row, these are our saxophones. And there's, you see three different kinds of saxophones up here. Um, the one that you, that you probably play when you start playing is alto saxophone. Parker, would you stand up? So Parker Giles, also Grimes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Would you play a few notes or something? Oh, just show us what an alto sounds like. Got a bit of range, just goes. Just kind of a mid-high range of the saxes. Not quite the highest, but not not too low either. Yeah, thank you. And then the next one we have is tenor sax, the Aiden. Take them, also Grimes alone. Yeah. So this is a... <laughs> so this is in the key of B-flat, which is the same key as these trumpets back here, so it really works well with the trumpets. Yeah. Um, I'm going to play something that was actually requested by Mr. McLeod. He, uh, he really likes a, the growl, which is basically when you vocalize into the saxophone. So this is what a normal note sounds like. And then this is when you vocalize. So you guys hear the growl a little bit? So yeah, that's, that's why I like to do on saxophone. So thank you. The song Robbie played the Barry Sax. Yeah, this, oh. <laughs> this one's a lot heavier, and uh, so it's the lower octave. So you saw Parker's playing our highest octave, him and Troy. Aiden and Will are playing kind of that medium octave, and I'm, I'm the lowest. So Barry Sax, you can go all the way down. So it gets really low, um, and it gets kind of high, but not super high. Um, so I'm playing the bass line with, it could be the guitar and the trombones, or I could be playing the melody with the saxes or the counter melody. So this thing, you can kind of play with anybody and uh, has a good range to it. Yep. We have a few more things to show you. We're gonna go and play our next song. This is another, another pop song you've probably heard somewhere. This is called Peg by Steely Dan.
So these instruments in the back we haven't talked about yet. These are the brass instruments back there. And you've heard a couple solos um, from back there. Let's start over here. Uh, what, what, yeah, Jay, what, what instrument is this? Hold this on. is uh, the trumpet. All right, someone said it. Uh, <laughs> it's small. It's, um, it's, it's the highest in range in all the brass instruments. Um, it's unique characteristic could be like has three buttons even though it has three buttons still not that easy uh, and then let me just play a few notes like it goes pretty high yeah <laughs> and, and these over here this may be a little bit of a trick question what what is that so it's a yeah, so it's kind of a trick question, isn't it? It's a, it's a trombone. It looks like a trombone, but what's different about it? It's got keys. It's got buttons. These are valve trombones. And sometimes, usually, a lot of times we'll have regular slide trombones. Um, we've got valve trombones right now. The, uh, the Henry and Griffith, they played tr trumpet or baritone when they came to Woodbury. We need people to play trombones. So we got trombones with valves on them, so they can play them more like a trumpet or a baritone. Which one of you guys like to play a few notes? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, and then real quickly over here, these guys. This is in the rhythm section over here. Uh, what are some instruments that you see over in the, on the end? There's drums. So, so we got so we got JP on the drum set. You hear the drums throughout everything. We just play just a little bit for us. Good, so the drummer, drummer is our timekeeper throughout. <laughs> and then in the, in the back here, this, this big guitar back here, what is yeah, this? In the back. It's a bass guitar in the back. There we go. It has four strings. Can you play us a few notes on that, please? Good, so that's the bass guitar. You hear that in the rhythm section also. Um, and then no, in the front, that. we have guitar. Dean replaces this a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and then finally over here, we've got a piano to round out the, to round out the rhythm section. Dan, you play a little something? Good, thank you. So that's, the, so that's the rhythm section. So that's the whole jazz band. And lots of times in jazz band, you've got other, other uh, smaller additional percussion instruments. Um, you can have shaker, you can have bongos, congas, different things. The next couple pieces that we're going to play, um, this next one in particular is called Grazing in the Grass. And it has a very important, very difficult cowbell part in it to the point where we are having a special guest today. We've had to bring in a world-renowned professional cowbell player to join us on this piece. So we're very excited. We hope that you are as excited as we are about welcoming this special guest.
we're going to keep Mr. Staken with us for one more tune. Uh, this, is, this is a Latin kind of tune. This has different kinds of cowbells, tambourine, shaker. I'll play the shaker today. Uh, this is called Tiger San Pedro. This has been one of the band's favorite pieces. Uh, with Woodbury, our mascot's the Tigers, like you're the Grizzlies, we're the Tigers. So we sort of latched on to Tiger San Pedro as one of our, one of our main tunes that we always play. Once again, we've enjoyed playing for you this afternoon. Uh, we have one more one more piece before we go. I'd like to invite Amy to come up and introduce this. Group. Also, before you go, big hand for our guest, Cal Bell. Awesome. All right. The last piece we'll play for you today is a project that I've been working on for a while. I first heard this song at a Dave Matthews Band concert. We opened the concert with it and it stuck with me ever since. Immediately after the end of the song, I leaned over to my dad and told him that we had to play it in jazz band. After finding out that a jazz band arrangement didn't exist, I started writing it myself. Thanks, for, thanks to the help from my dad, I spent all of the winter trimester and some of the spring trimester arranging this piece. Since this is the last time we've seen people play together, I consider this song my final contribution to the music department of the Bear. I hope you all enjoy this arrangement of Led Zeppelin's Cool Moran, where it will feature me on tenor sax as well as Chanel Chan on trumpet. Thank you and enjoy. Thank you. 